In this question, we're asked to determine the nuclear symbol and number of subatomic particles for a neutral oxygen-17 atom. So when our atom is written like this, with the name oxygen and then a number 17, the number provided there is the mass number of our atom. So that's something we can fill in already on our nuclear symbol. The number at the top of that is our mass number, which is 17 in this question. Okay, what other information are we given? We're told that it's oxygen. So we can fill in our nuclear symbol. The symbol for oxygen is O. And then to figure out the atomic number, we're going to have to look at our periodic table and find oxygen. So let's have a look for oxygen. Here it is. So oxygen has an atomic number in the top left of eight. Remember, it's that number on the top left that's the atomic number, not the one below. That's the relative atomic mass, which we'll get into later. So it's just the number on the top left we need for now. That's the atomic number. So we can fill that in here. Our atomic number is eight. That's the one on the bottom in our nuclear symbol. Finally, we just need to figure out our subatomic particles. So we know that the number of protons is going to be equal to our atomic number, which is that number on the bottom of our nuclear symbol. So we've got eight protons. So we can fill that in here. And we know we've got eight protons because it's oxygen and oxygen has atomic number eight. So oxygen always has eight protons. Next, looking at the neutrons, the mass number, which is that number on the top of our nuclear symbol, tells us the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. And the mass number in this question is 17. And the number of protons is 8. So to get our neutrons, we can do 17 minus 8. And that will get us 9 as our number of protons. So we could enter that. Oh, sorry, I meant to say number of neutrons then. 9 is our number of neutrons. OK, great. So we've got 8 protons, 9 neutrons, finally the electrons. Since it's a neutral atom, we know the protons and electrons have to be the same so that they can balance out each other's charge. So it's going to be 8 as well for the electrons.